Hi everyone. So I figured today we'll do some XCOM 2 mod jam. It's actually been a while. We had a few other games on the way. Uh, this is the continuation of the campaign we started, I don't know, two months ago? So this is five months in. We have one uh, liberated region, Western Europe, right here. A few regions I got contact with. We have uh, continent bonus in South America. And I guess we're trying to go in this direction. Oh yeah, I was going to go for Australia here. That's a decent bonus as well. 20% more supplies from the supply drop. So let's check the roster. We had a few... S okay, we actually have a gunnery sergeant now, yeah? That's nice. Um, yes, it's a lot of mods. Currently got 244 mods. Mod which I mean is basically like long war but on steroids. That's basically what it is. Uh, oh yeah, I remember swapping a mod or two. Uh, one of the mods I swapped in uh, was here for this roster at least. So it might look a little bit different now um, because I'm using a slightly different mod. So like the icons might be a little bit different. What's happening here? Uh, Radius Avatar Project Progress. 21% ambush. All right. How are the Chosen doing? Training, retribution, training. All right. And we have some missions coming up. Here's one. Uh, liberation. All right. That's the group. All right, that's New Brazil. And uh, yeah, we're not doing this one. Okay, New Brazil has... Uh, liberation 2 done. So we'll probably liberate New Brazil next. I guess that's the goal. Uh, liberate New Brazil so that we'll have two liberated regions. I'm going to need the supplies. Uh, Frost bomb is almost done. And uh, we are literally about to finish the training center. I have a lot of points built up but not spent. There's going to be a lot of points to spend on a lot of people. So we'll probably go like for people who will actually go on missions first, not literally everyone on the roster at the, at the same time, because that would take half hour. Right, so that was the frost bomb. Should probably get the battlefield medicine done. Boltcaster, shadow keeper. Without additional upgrades, this unit will have 11 HP, 1 armor, 15 dodge, 12 mobility, 70 aim, armed with a weapon that deals 6 to 8 damage. Okay. I do want at least one alloy shiv. Maybe we can grab one. Oh, what's going on? Oh yeah, it's uh, the Intel retaliation. All right, I guess we're doing that then. Yeah, yeah. Are they ever happy, Bradford? Are they ever happy about anything? All right. Well then, lightly wounded. Three days. Probably on the Barney for this anyway, though. Wait, did we finish that training center? And uh, no? It's literally three hours away, so we can finish it. Yeah, this will expire in 25 hours, so it's fine. I kind of wanted a training center. <laughs> that will be a big help right now. Okay, let's wait for the training center. There it is. All right. We can also get bond level 2 and 3 now. Now we can prepare the squad. Yeah, there are a few people who can improve bonds, but I might need them for this mission right here. Who's stationed here? Hold on. Uh, okay, we do have one person here. So she'll be in the mission too. Not super impressive, but area suppression, free health, a bit squishy. Dead eye, okay. I might be a bit rusty since it's been basically almost two months since I did this. Alright, well, we definitely want Barney. That's a no-brainer. And he has 36 APs. I have 27 XCOM APs. So if I pay four extra from my poll, I could get Disabling Shot. What else does he have here? Botnet. While active standard shots from all allies before the next turn, lower their target's hug defense by minus 10. Alright. Shield protocol is nice. And that's 20 points. 
Okay, shield protocol would actually be pretty nice. Okay, let's see how else he's coming. 25 APs. Distance makes the sharpshooter harder to focus on. Provides bonus defense and dodge based on distance from the attacker. Aim. Hunker down now converts plus 20 aim and plus 20 crit for the first shot on the following turn. Your standard sniper rifle attacks deal 50% more damage to inanimate objects, such as relays and gas tanks. You deal plus 2 damage while concealed and plus 1 damage while flanking your target. Uh, this is nice. Yeah, this is actually really nice. Your ranged attacks deal plus 2 more damage to your needs at 50% HP or less. Uh, that is also nice. Your ranged attacks gain plus 10 aim and pierce one armor against unflankable enemies. This will be really good uh, in the late game. With that said, he has low combat intelligence. I won't be able to just get all of that. Not gonna happen. Who else is coming? Uh, right, we could grab Tarkin here. That's our mech sniper. Mech sniper is friggin' badass. Just look at that weapon. Look how massive his weapon is. It's huge. Now, the downside of this weapon uh, is that you need two action points to use it. But it's literally an artillery cannon. It's a friggin' artillery cannon. And look at the damage. This is the base version. 8 to 11 damage. But it basically has uh, one ammo and you need to use both actions to fire it. So you can't shoot it every turn. But it does huge amounts of damage. They're heavy cannon. Oh yeah, also, uh, when you fire it for a cover, it gets a damage penalty instead of an aim penalty. So that's actually also pretty good in a lot of situations. Right there, you can see that, right there, bottom right. I might have to sell some stuff to get upgrades. And yeah, there. They can be reloaded after each shot and they take two actions to fire. Alright, let's bring him. Uh, how much to buy a new version here? Uh, okay, 30 supplies. I'll probably need to go to the black market to sell some stuff. But yeah, that's the one. Oh, also, I, I have a new mod. Well, kind of new. I installed it like well over a month ago. But I think I installed it after the last stream. So it shows how many corpses exactly I have in my stock for things that require them. So, for example, here, laser ribjack. It requires lancer corpse, and I can now see that I have two lancer corpses. It's actually great. I was really missing this for so long. And it's especially important when you use a setup like this. There are a lot of things in Longer of the Chosen, especially with mod jump that use corpses. So it's nice to know how many you have. So 10 to 14 damage, plus 6 critical damage, 20% critical hit chance. Yeah, we should make that. Alright, let's make that. <laughs> that's the Giga Chat Cannon, basically. Yep, that's the Giga Chat Cannon. Look at the size of that thing. It's actually insane. It's actually insane. And I can friggin mod it as well. I can actually mod it as well. Speed loader. Reload automatically when dashing. Oh shit, that would actually be perfect for this guy. Because he needs two actions to fire anyway. So we will likely be dashing a lot with him. Uh, definitely stock. I do have advanced stock. Well, that's the thing. If I use stock, I'm not dashing. But we'll probably want that extra aim. We don't want to miss with this thing. Like, we definitely don't want to miss with this thing. That would be bad. What else then? I mean, I might still get a speed loader anyway. Alright, let's get a speed loader anyway. Even though these two aren't super compatible with each other. Uh, more crit chance. Alright, more crit chance is good. Now, he does have fear of missed shots, which is not ideal. But alright. His will is decent, however. Can he spend his APs? 
uh, oh, actually, no. Right, the Max don't have the XCOM row. Uh, fair enough. What does he have right now? Dam got ground. Grants extra utility item slot usable for ammo. Right? So AP rounds and such. Grants plus 20% increased chance to hit, but delays the shot until the target moves on the current turn or enemy's next turn. Uh, this might be good on this guy, because his weapon uh, doesn't get aim penalties for cover. So this might make it easy to push the chance to hit to 100%. And he has dead eye. Oh yeah, dead eye with this thing? Can you imagine how much damage we'll do with dead eye with this friggin' thing? It's actually going to be nuts. That's actually nuts. Okay, 14 health. We don't have one plasma grenade. I can give him restorative mist. Maybe not a terrible idea. And he's so big, I can't see the entire description. AP rounds. Wait, what's this? Bro, you're too big. Uh, these rounds cause targets to do significantly less damage. They may also cause enemy weapons to jump. Okay, AP rounds. He's a sniper, so I'm not giving him a plasma grenade. In fact, we could give him smoke. And even flashbang. Alright. Really looking forward to using this. Okay, who else? Uh, Spartan is wounded, I think. Is he though? Yes, he is for 15 days. We have four more slots here. So far, specialist, sharpshooter, hitman, make sniper. I think that's enough snipers right now. Yeah, okay, that's enough snipers for now. Archon is tired. Clownfish. Okay, Clownfish and Crispy God would be good. And two more. We got a specialist already. Cookies would be okay. He's also an officer. I definitely want him here. Okay. And one last person. Hoplite might not be a terrible idea for somebody tanky. Or maybe something like Frost Adder. I have an upgraded weapon here as well. Magnetic Tear. Russian Bind. Bleed Cold. Slug Shot. Hoplite had Bullseye though. That's a nice skill. Alright. Now I might need to go to the black market here to get some supplies for extra weapons. Wait, can I not get better armor for the mech trooper yet? I don't think I unlocked that. Apparently not. Or is that... no. Extra layer... No, this is like the plating, right? Yeah, this is plating basically. I might still want to grab this though. The mech trooper is a little bit too valuable. He's quite tanky, but he's not immortal or anything like that. Uh, this goes in the auxiliary slot, though. So I guess this would replace a restorative mist. Right here. Uh, he should be fine with 14 health. He's a sniper, he'll just stay away. Okay, let's see what we got for gear. I got some squads currently preparing missions. They have some of my gear. Yeah, I don't really have any armor left. We got some magnetic weapons. Laser pistol. Alloy guardian shield, good. And that one plasma grenade. Okay, one plasma grenade. These rounds cause targets to do significantly less damage. They may also cause enemy weapons to jump. Alright, well, Hoplite is not going to do a lot of damage anyway. Might as well just use these on the hoplite. Medkit. Alright, specialist can grab the skull jack. Here you go. Yeah, I could really use more supplies here. Let's get some supplies. We got 20 hours, it's fine. I got a grand total of 5 supplies at the moment. Not great.
Uh, do I have the Templar operation done yet? Yeah, I remember doing that. We do have that done. What do I sell? We can sell a data pad. We got six. I don't think I want to sell a data cache, but I could. 11 weapon crates. Any useless mods? Okay, I can sell some under barrel stuff. I probably won't use four advanced hair triggers. So, okay, sell one. Every little bit helps right now. There's not a lot here that I'm willing to sell right now. This might be it, that's 44. I don't have a lot of corpses, and most of them are useful for something. I think I upgraded this, so I should be able to sell the old version. But I'm not 100% sure, I would have to double check. Alright, 44 supplies. Uh, let's check the Archon real quick. I'm pretty sure I got the Magnetic Tear weapon on him. Uh, no, actually I don't. Oh yeah, I do, but the secondary weapon. Okay, I'm glad I checked then. Right, that's 44 supplies. That might be enough to get something. I mean, this mission shouldn't be that hard. Commander, we'll need to have one of our oh, it cleared my whole group. <laughs> well, that's a bit rude. Alright, I still have some APs to spend. Let's spend them wisely. Light them up. Okay, that's a no-brainer, I think. You're a recon. That's a little bit weird on a recon, but I don't see why not. He has hit and run. Rapid targeting, covert, and tracking. When your concealment is broken, gain defense. Uh, iron Curtain. Alright, I don't see why not. Light them up. A laser Hunter Rifle. I don't have one magnetic shotgun here unused for someone. Now, Clownfish, what are you using? You can use the magnetic shotgun. Here you go, and Advanced Arc Thrower. How much for one armor? 15, right? No, 30. Yeah, I could only afford one extra armor right now. I can get some extra platings. They don't even cost any supplies, just a trooper corpse and one alloy. Alright, yeah, might as well. You never know, it might save somebody's ass. I want them on as many people as possible here. Preferably on everyone. Who else still has some APs? 36, 25, 24. So, Clownfish. Field Medic on an Assault? No. Drive out. Strike an enemy with the butt of your weapon, dealing only little damage but knocking the target back, possibly out of cover. Cannot be used against mechanical targets. Free turn cooldown. Uh, that sounds useful. Depends on, like, chance to hit. Gain dodge against targets within four tiles. You're immune to multi-target and area attacks. Phantom for 30. A burial shot. Okay, burial shot is good. Slam fire. For the rest of your turn, whenever you get a critical hit with your shotgun, your actions are refunded. Okay. Well, that's a little bit RNG, but he doesn't have aggression, so probably not. Okay, no. I don't remember what my plan was with him. <laughs> it's been two months, alright? I mean, Burial Shot is always good. I might just pick that up or save so that I don't spend XCOM APs. And what about Taro? Well, Damn Good Ground is only 10 points. Shield protocol. Wait, that's Rocky. Aim. Yeah, so Hunker Down adds plus 20 aim and plus 20 crit on the first shot of the following turn. That is decent. But I like Surprise here. That's basically permanent plus one damage against any enemy you're flanking. And you'll be flanking enemies with a sniper, I would say, pretty regularly. 
your ranged attacks deal plus two more damage to units at 50% HP or less. I mean, that's really good against the Chosen, that's good against any late game enemy with a crap ton of health. It's kind of a tough one. I don't want to rely on hunkering down to get this extra aim, because that basically implies I have to skip one turn. Alright, I'm going to grab Surprise here. It's basically permanent plus one damage against anything we're flanking. So let's get that. Uh, now, for Rocky, I'm leaning towards Shield Protocol here. While active, standard shots from all allies before next turn. Lower their target's hack defense by minus 10. Well, this will be great combined with full override and such. And I could also technically pick up a disabling shot on him by only spending 4 XCOM APs. Disabling shot is great against some really late game enemies. Which is not really a problem for me yet. But in the late game, this is super good. Almost a must have. Ranged attacks against flanked enemies deal plus 2 damage. Yeah, I'm leaning towards disabling shot. There are a lot of nasty enemies. This would be good against. Obviously, I have to actually hit with this in order for it to do anything. Alright, I'll take disabling shot. Next up, Cookies. He has 25 points. Steady hands. Now, that's nice. If you did not move last turn, gain 10 aim and 10 critical chance. Your ranged attacks gain 15 bonus aim and 10 bonus critical chance against enemies that are flanked or out of cover. That's good too. Tactical sense. Okay, you know what? He also has rapid fire, but since he's an officer, I might just take tactical sense for him. Because, you know, it's really important for him to stay alive. It's super important for him to stay alive. He also doesn't have any defense here and minus to dodge. So as much as I like things like steady hand or rapid fire, that's 40 points though. I'm taking tactical sense since he's an officer. The Quagger could also pick something up. Take under Blade Master. Burial shot. Oh, he has burial shot. And that would be a bit tougher to use on him. There will be one additional load drop on a random enemy whenever this soldier is on a mission. Other squadmates with Scrounger will stack the effect. Really? <laughs> uh, okay, that's only 10 point cost as well. Heck yeah, I'm taking that. If nothing else, this is basically supplies because you can sell the extra load. That skill is bait for me. Maybe it is. But alright, I'm taking that. Done. So 24 points on Clownfish here. You are immune to multi-target and area attacks. Yeah, I think I'll save for Burial Shot. I don't have a lot of XCOM APs, so I don't want to spend them too much. But I mean, Burial Shot on an Assault is pretty damn nice. With a shotgun and all that. Alright, who's the squishiest person in here? Five. Four. Well, he's a sharpshooter. Uh, how far am I into the game? About five months. This is the campaign we started about two months ago, but then we had a bunch of other games on the way. So we liberated one region, currently working on the second one, and this is an intel retaliation here that I'm preparing. Okay, I can't make more than one Predator armor. And some of these people are really, really squishy. Like, 4 HP, he's gonna die if something breeds in his general direction, straight up. He's just gonna die. He is a sniper, but that does not mean nothing will ever shoot him. With that said, everyone else is mostly okay-ish. So, let's get one armor for Quagger here. That's 30 supplies. What about some alternatives? I don't really have alternatives. Well, I kind of do. I could make officer armor. That adds 3 HP, if I remember correctly. 
and I got three more officer corpses. And it's only 15 supplies. Maybe that's actually a better alternative here. All right, let's get officer armor. Yeah, it's plus three health. I'll take it. Laser pistol. Even trooper armor is better than nothing. Okay, what the heck, let's make a trooper armor here. It's not much of an improvement, but hey, it's plus one health. It might just save his ass. You never know. And that leaves me with what? 29 supplies? 29 supplies. Let's see then. I want some extra med kits. We might need them. Okay, that gives me what? Three med kits? One of them on a specialist? Four med kits. Flashbang. Okay. What about the weapons? Do I have a Gremlin Mark II in here? No. I do have a Gremlin Mark II, but it's in one of the squads currently working on the mission. Can I even make another one? No. Can I? Wait, where is it? Way too much stuff on this list now. I could! It's 20 supplies. Might not be the priority right now, this moment. Who doesn't have a magnetic weapon? Crispy God. Yeah, that hunter rifle is not the best with a light em up. Definitely not. He'd be better off with something that has more ammo. I don't have a bunch of laser tier weapons here. I mean, he could just go with a laser rifle. What about PCSs? I do have some. Do we have any health PCS? I got plus five hacking. Hold on, plus five hacking. Oh no, he's using a conditioning. Let's keep conditioning on him. Cookies, what does he have? Emergency life support, yeah, keep that. Who doesn't have a PCS? Clownfish, crispy god, and quagger. All right. So for an assault, plus 10 aim for your next shot with your primary weapon. Oh, after a miss, right. So that would be good uh, with a light em up. That would be fine. All right, you can grab that. Clownfish. This is a lot of preparation. Plus our mobility, that might be good for an assault. What's your mobility? It's not that good. All right, yeah, it's not that good. Let's give you a plus one mobility. And for Quagger, he has 18 mobility. I have a lot of depth perception. Not super useful for this class, though. Not really. What's your will? 40, so that's decent. He doesn't necessarily need any of these. I could just give him some dodge. All right, just give him some dodge. There. I think we're ready. Let me just double check. I still have some supplies. 29. Doesn't mean I have to spend them all right now. And I'm going to keep the APs here for burial shot. Not necessarily willing to spend six shared points to get it right now. Well, one thing I could do is just get another magnetic rifle. That's a versatile enough weapon and that is worth just maybe making one. Man, this list is really long now. I need an option to sort this alphabetically. Oh, yeah, it's 30 supplies, so I'm one short. Okay, whatever, it's fine. In fact, let's make a magnetic pistol here. I could even make two. Potentially. I could make two. Ten supplies, one alloy, one alarium. All right, let's make two. There. Here you go. And now we're all ready. Unless I want to spend the 10 points here. Combat fitness. Combat fitness is pretty nice. Allies within one tile gain plus 5 bonus aim. This bonus is increased by 10 or 210 when shield wall is in effect, passive. 
Okay, that's actually pretty nice. That's pretty nice. If this soldier ends turn within one and a half tile of an unimpaired allied soldier, enemies will not receive flanking bonuses to aim and crit against either of the soldiers. Any extra aim is always nice. Maybe I'll just grab this. Okay, the only potential downside is if this gives the enemy next to you aim. Because the problem with units like this is that if the enemy stands next to you while you're acting as cover, the enemy gets cover because he's standing next to you. So if you try to shoot that enemy, he will have cover because you're the cover. It's very strange. I would hate if this also gave the enemy plus 5 aim just because he's standing next to me. While shield wall is in effect gain 20 bonus dodge, ranged attacks against flank enemies deal plus 2 damage. Alright, I'll save the points. We're ready, I think we can go now. I'm just double checking here. Technically, I could still do one more thing here, make one more trooper armor. Yep, and their place and the Kevlar armor. Might as well. Maybe on cookies. He's the officer after all. Alright, there you go. That was a lot of setup, but this is it. Looking forward to using this artillery cannon. Slums is the area of operations. Okay, let's go! Time for some action. Yeah, that was a longer setup. All right. This should be fun. So we want to get to our people as quickly as possible. And there's a good chance some of them will get killed. And I don't really want to move with any of them because the enemies might be just outside of this building. I would rather avoid triggering them as long as I can. So, who had Phantom in here? Okay, Crispy got dance. Closing on target position now. Alright, looks fine. We got some high ground, potentially. Wait, which Chosen was this? Uh, now I don't remember. Assassin? Uh, we'll find out. Okay, Quagger is also concealed. Let's check... Yeah, they are a bit to the left, actually. Uh, let's check this low ground over here. There's usually something over there. Will do. Yes, I do enjoy blowing up gas stations. Alright. Clear. Let's check our resistance, people. 7 health, 10 health. 10 friggin' health. And a 76 aim. Can we recruit her? Yeah, this is my guy, the Haven Advisor. With the worst stats of them all. Yeah, most of these people are pretty tanky. The squishiest resistance person here has 6 HP. Not a single person has less than 6 HP here. Okay. I guess that works. So let's set up somewhere convenient with Tarkin here. Probably here so that he'll have a line of sight to potentially shoot something on the next turn if necessary. Let's go. Alright. Should be fine to dash, I guess. The magnetic weapons here should help a lot with the damage output. Ten four. That's Cookies, our officer. It should be okay to stand over here. Let's go. And Taro. He should probably stay on the high ground for now. Clownfish. Alright, and I'm just going to stay where I am. Right here, and overwatch. Like I said, we don't want to trigger anything just outside of the building. They might trigger themselves anyway. That's the elder's hunter. Okay, the hunter, alright. He's a bit annoying, but alright. 
Executioner, Predator. Your ranged attacks gain bonus aim and bonus crit chance against enemies that are flanked or out of cover. You get additional defense and dodge against reaction fire. All right. It's looking like your last. Only 27 health though and no armor, so this shouldn't be too hard, especially with magnetic weapons, which gives laser weapons to resistance members. Did they hit at all? Eh, they grazed him for free damage. Alright, well, to be fair, he does have extra defense against flanking shots. Against reaction shots, I mean. Alright, so we don't know where other enemies are. They could be anywhere here. Alright, clear. Still clear. I don't think I can blow up his cover. Not really, no. So best if we spread out a bit. Okay, this is my actual Haven advisor. She has a grand total of 3 HP. Not a huge amount. She does, however, have suppression. What special skills do they have? Maybe one of them has suppression. A dead eye? Dead eye with a shotgun, okay. Okay, so basically just dead eye. Alright. Yeah, dead eye with a shotgun. So that's going to be like 0% chance to hit. Man, 3 HP is like basically nothing. He can easily hit for up to 6. Shame he's not standing close enough to the gas station because then I could blow it up. But alas, I guess it's best to just hunker down right now. I'm going. Okay, I hope there isn't a group right here. I'm trying to avoid that. Absolutely. All right. Sure thing. Oh, yeah, but there is a group with vipers and stuff. Okay. No Flame Viper, though. That's my least favorite type. They look like they might be close enough to the gas station here. Do you guys have actual grenades? You do? Not the best angle here, though. And this window on the right side might work. Okay, yeah, this window will actually work. There. Yeah, I guess that's worth doing. It's guaranteed 6 damage. Even better if I just throw a grenade. Alright, let's just throw a grenade. Boom. There we go. Loot destroyed, but I don't really care about the loot. I care about not dying right now. Alright, that's one down. Thousands to go. That's a lot of fire. A flashbang might be nice if I can reach them. I can. All right, flashbang then. It's not like I'll kill them. They do have this stupid necromancer, but oh well. He's too far away for me to do much. There. All right. Not much else I can really do in this situation. Let's spread out at least a little bit. Wait, does somebody actually have line of sight here? Uh, no. I thought for a second that somebody had line of sight. Not that chance to hit would be good from the other side of the map. Okay. There might still be a group somewhere over here-ish. There could easily be a group like here. So I want to avoid the triggering that. Who's still concealed? Should be one more person here. That was Quagger. Uh, crispy God. Let's check this area. Okay, it's clear. So now we can dash. If I move Tarkin 
to the right side of this building, I would potentially have line of sight to some of these enemies. But the chance to hit will probably be really bad. It's really far away. But we would have high ground. So who knows? Who knows? I could even go here and then steady weapon. But remember, we need two action points to fire this thing. So whatever this enemy is, if he moves, I might end up unable to target anything if I stand here. On the other hand, I expect them to move forward. Orders confirmed on the move. Maybe this is actually okay. That's the necromancer. Alright, let's try over here. So steady weapon. Man, look at how huge this thing is. It's even better when you fire it, you'll see. This is my favorite mech type. Of all the types, this is by far my favorite. I mean, who doesn't like a giant ass artillery cannon? Okay, it should be safe to dash here. I'm just a bit paranoid still. <laughs> it should be fine though. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's fine. Uh, Taro should try to stay on the high ground, but that won't do me much good right now. Uh, yeah, not really, it won't. This is technically high ground. I doubt he will have line of sight from here, but okay. You never know. Maybe he will. Yes, go, go, go. All right, let's see what they are going to do here. All set. Hopefully we can do some damage on the next turn. Here comes the hunter. All right. Specialty. He shot our advisor. I think she's down to one health now. Uh, there's a good chance she will die. She's like the squishiest unit in this entire mission. With three health and two ablative armor. And yeah, they are targeting her. A squaddy rank, but still. Okay. Zombie over here. Enjoy. Now, let's see if we have line of sight here. Yes, we do. 100% chance to hit. 100% chance to crit. What would be our chance with Dead Eye, just out of curiosity? With Dead Eye, I would still have 100% chance to hit, and 15 to 21 friggin' damage with 100% crit. See how insane this is? But again, you can't do this every turn. At best, you can do it every other turn. But, like, this is actually insane. We'll insta give the Necromancer here. Not even a graze, he will just die. Let's go. You see that kickback? <laughs> and he dead. Yep, he dead indeed. He's deader than dead. We deleted him from existence. Uh, right, I should probably kill that zombie with someone. Let's see, let's see what we can do here. So if I wanted to not have her die, I should probably back up. We can still blow up this Frost Viper, that's nice. Probably just throw a grenade. Yep. Who's volunteering? There. Let's go. Very nice. Okay. We have one snake left and then the hunter. Alright. Wait, oh, right, uh, the zombie. Eh, that's fine. Yeah, killing the necromancer does not kill the zombie, just something to keep in mind. Now, I could get a bit closer, but I don't want to stand next to the gas station myself. We could go to high ground here. I'm a little bit paranoid about triggering more enemies here. Because I could do this. 
but I will be revealing some of the map on the left. Maybe not the best idea ever. 48%. That's not terrible. That is not terrible. Alright, let's maybe hide our advisor here, shall we? I might just run outside entirely. Okay, yep. Confirmed. Okay. What's this hack? Video feed. Wait, what's video feed again? That's extra vision range, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I don't really need that. Does Rocky have failsafe? He does, right? No, he doesn't. And no, he does not. Alright. I don't think anyone here can actually take any shots. Dash at best. Quagger is concealed, right? Yes. We can end our turn here on the high ground in partial cover and still be concealed. Go. Let's go. That way he'll be safe. Cookies. There is still one pod around here somewhere, I just don't know where. No idea where. Okay, I could set up on top of that van over here, but I would have no cover. That's probably not safe, but I can do it. I could also set up here. That's a little bit safer, but I will have Ward's chance to hit. And if they move left, they will move outside of my line of sight. But this is definitely much safer if I want to try taking a shot on the next turn. Like, this is way safer. If I go here and they move forward, they could easily kill my sniper. And he's a tech sergeant rank. I'm not going to risk him getting killed. That would be bad. Okay, let's maybe set up over here then. Run and gun won't do me much good right now. Crispy God is still concealed here. Go, go, go. So this way we'll check out the right side as well. There's still a pod somewhere. I'm thinking it's probably here. That's a pretty big unrevealed area. It's probably somewhere on the left. But that's just a guess. I don't actually know. Okay, Baskinger. Alright, he's the hoplite. He is tanky, but I still don't want to do anything overly aggressive here. <laughs> yeah, run here is probably perfectly fine. I'm all over it. Okay, I moved all my actual squad members now. Just resistance left. Yeah, I'm not moving towards that gas station. Bad idea. I'm not going left either. So, it might be best to just hunker down to lower their chance to hit me. Everyone is in full cover. Overwatch probably won't do me much good. The Hunter has extra defense against reaction shots. And it's not like the shotgun will actually hit with Overwatch. Alright, let's go. Okay, he still crit me. That's a bit rude. And she dead. That's with full cover. Alright. Now we have a line of sight. What's the chance? 100%. 100% on the hunter. Even with the dead eye. Look at this shit. I don't have a bunch of modifiers, so that's helping. We got 18% penalty for range and 16% penalty for dead eye, and I still have 100% chance to hit. We got the damn good ground, height advantage, death from above, depth perception, and pretty high base aim. So this is a no brainer, obviously. This is obviously a no brainer. It was a good idea to move him to the right, after all. And this is without steady weapon, because he does have stock. 
Let's go. Fifteen damage. Very nice. I don't think I can kill him on this turn. It does a bit of a stretch, but... I mean, there is a non-zero chance. Can anyone be in range to shoot here? Yeah, kind of. I could try Bolsai right now. Wait, no, that's the Viper. What about Crispy God? He can be in range to take a shot. Let's try then. I even have rapid targeting. Okay, let's pop rapid targeting. No reason not to at this point. That's 100. And then I think resistance people can finish the job. What the heck happened there? <laughs> okay. That was a bit weird, but yeah, we hit. He's going down. Yep, you're going down, buddy. You're as good as dead. Uh, okay, not the shotgun, perhaps. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Who wants to finish the job here? Uh, the shotgun won't have very good chance. Even SMG might be a bit better. Okay, 96. And he's dead. Nicely done. So we only lost one resistance member. I would say that's a good outcome. There's still one pod out there somewhere. Alright, let's finish off that snake real quick. This was smoother than expected, but the magnetic weapons helped a lot. I can flank that snake, actually. Yep. Reinforcements. 63, 64. Okay. Oh yeah, Quagger can do it. But maybe he can keep concealment for now. We got that laser shotgun. I'm on it, Commander. And that's a 91% miss. Of course it is. Of course it is. Done. It's okay. We got others. Can you people stop missing? That would be appreciated. If you say so. Here's your chance to get promoted. Let's go. Got it. All right. Let's just set up on the roof. Roger that. I assume that last group will show up on its own. Heading out. And if not, we'll get some indication in which direction okay. they are. Overwatch. Right, we got our mech here, so set up on some high ground. Yep, over here. I love this weapon, it's so friggin' good. He's a bit of a one-trick pony with that thing, but it's a pretty damn good trick, you know? It's a pretty damn good trick. Confirmed. Okay, let's check the left side here. He's concealed anyway. This is what I expect. Oh, yeah, they're here. Oh, they will spot me. They were right next to the building. They were literally hugging the wall of the building. They were hugging the wall of the building. Just straight up. Okay, all right. All right. I still got some options. I still got an gun here. Uh, that might not be an amazing chance to hit from this far away. Probably not. Probably not. Two purifiers. Eh, that shouldn't really be a big problem. I can flashbang. Uh, can Rocky do anything? 
sort of, but not really. Gain some mobility and ignore the action fire for the rest of the turn. Four turn cooldown. I don't think that will help me that much. I'm on the move. Okay, well, might as well throw that flashbang. Yeah, I might actually use the skull jack on the officer. I'm too far away to do it right now, but we could maybe do it on the next turn. It's a good moment to do it. Wait, do I have slug shot? Yeah, I do have slug shot. Going in for the kill. Maybe we can do it after all then. Alright, make it a good one. I might want... Right, I can't move, so... If I kill him, he might blow up, but... It is what it is. I could also stun. 81% chance to stun him. That's actually a better idea here. Got it. Okay. No bomb bomb for you. As for the officer, just shoot him. Yeah, see, if I stand here, I will be flanking him, but I'll be very close to that gas station. Might be best to just disorient him as well. It's not like I'll kill him anyway. Well, I could in theory, but just disorient him. It's safer. So now they are all either disoriented or stunned. Oh, you'll be fine. Yep, here's another group. We're not done yet. And we might still get reinforcements to kill as well. You'll be fine. Ish. You have your own med kit even. You'll be more than fine. You can literally just heal yourself. Uh, let's check our snipers first. Oh, here, here. <laughs> yep. Dead eye. 7 to 10 here. So yeah, so remember. On this dude, we don't get an aim penalty for firing through cover. We get a damage reduction. And we still get full aim. Which is why... I have 10 to 12 damage, 8 to 11 damage with a standard shot on the shield bearer, but 5 to 7 on the officer, because I'm firing on the officer through cover. Yeah, the officer sounds like a good target. It won't necessarily kill him, though. Let's check Taro. 89% on the armored trooper. Okay, let's show the armored trooper here. Nice. Only the best. Okay. I can even holo target the shield bearer. Okay, why not? Let's holo target the shield bearer. I think somebody can flank him from the left. Maybe. Maybe not. Can we? Let's call Jack that officer right now. No, I'm still a bit too far away. I would like to. Well, there are two officers right now, so it can be either one of them. Okay, Quagger needs to move. He should probably just heal himself right now. And that sounds like a good plan. Any good full cover down here? Not really. I mean, I guess this is fine-ish. I could also move into that building in the back. But the officer might follow me and flank me. This is a decent spot. Not amazing though, they could shoot me from the left. I could just dash and then heal on the following turn. Alright, let's just dash away. We can heal on the next turn. He's a big boy, he'll be fine. Right, so I only need one officer. We should probably kill one. This is too far away. Alright, let's just kill this shield bearer. With Tarkin. Bye-bye. Oh, he's not actually dead, really. It's a graze. 
Seriously, it's a graze. What the heck? That's illegal. Well done. Moving. It is what it is. Bit too far away for a grenade. We're one damage short. Combat protocol would do it. All right, combat protocol is fine. I just need to have actual line of sight. And that's the tricky part. There, this is a good spot. All right, I don't want him popping the shield, so just kill him. Okay. All right, we still got this stunned purifier. Might be best to kill him here. Okay, I'll go. Nope. Come on, focus. And there's still another purifier behind the building. I just can't see him. Okay, that was such a good shot and it missed. Do I even have any good alternatives here? Mostly just the resistance people. That's an SMG. It's not going to be a lot of damage. Hard target, minimal damage. I guess cookies can finish the job. Only the best. Okay. And we don't want to grab the lot. So there's that officer on the low ground still. Not much else I can really do on this turn here. I still got the plasma grenade. The plan is to skulljack this officer on the left. I might have to kill one group of reinforcements though. Twenty-one percent chance to hit. That's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. Heading out. That's not exactly the safest cover I've ever seen, but Solid copy. it'll have to do, all right? I mean, I can shoot him, but I would have to create to kill him. Is it clear? No, it's not clear. Does it look clear to you? All right. Do that's free damage. And that's basically my turn. I just got my advisor left now. I'm trusting you here. Okay, overwatch in case he moves forward in our general direction. All right, he went into the building. Here comes the purifier. And officer. Overwatch. Alright, now I need a little bit of healing. Yeah, yeah, you'll be fine. Okay, we did lose one resistance, dude. Alright, let's heal up. There you go. Uh, Barney needs to heal himself. Okay, well, I could have used the skull jug there instead. 87%. A purifier. Let's kill that purifier on the roof. Got it? That's right. 10 damage. Alright, reload. I only need one officer, so let's kill this one. Oh, wait, uh, there's one guy on Overwatch. Let's be careful with that. Moving out. Target neutralized. All right, and go grab the loot. Not a problem. 
I still need to get close to him. And he's a little bit far away, and we got reinforcements coming now. Probably best to just spam Overwatch for that. So they could land on any side of this building right now. We don't know which one is going to be. Seems doable. All right, let's just overwatch here. Hopefully we won't kill uh, the officer by accident, but we shouldn't. All right, let's go. That looks like a warlock or something. I think I disabled that though. Uh, bio trooper, advanced trooper. Okay, one down. Come on, people, hit! There we go. Yes, I see that one. More. Let's go. Yes, I see that one too. I need that officer to come closer. Can you not shoot me? Uh, okay, that was a bit rude. Kill this stupid trooper. Ready to rock. Not you, apparently. Can somebody kill that stupid trooper easily? No? I guess this is my best chance here. I mean, this will kill him, but I might get killed by the officer on the next turn. Or I can just throw a grenade. But just in case he has a load, I'd rather avoid the grenade. Alright, I need to dash towards that officer over there. So let's do that. Can nobody seriously kill this stupid trooper here? I guess I might just have to grenade his ass. Melee. Okay, that works. Uh, he's a hoplite, so he doesn't technically need cover that much. <laughs> okay, he didn't actually die, but he's stunned here. For one action, at least. Anyway, let's get this load. Perception, heavy barrel, and this one. I can't actually move into cover while picking this up. Anyone with a blow move? No, not really. Okay, I might have to risk somebody getting killed to pick that up. Which is not ideal. Target is still standing. He's only stunned for one single action, so I might want to kill him, otherwise he can shoot me and kill me. There, okay, done. Okay, somebody needs to pick this up. I guess we can stand here. That's still technically covered, just partial, but... And the officer shouldn't even have line of sight to me. Heavy barrel, that's not exactly the most exciting loot I've ever seen. All right, we just need to Skulljack and that officer now. This is pretty much the best opportunity to do that. I don't think we'll get any better. It's literally the last enemy on the map right now. No more reinforcements coming. So it doesn't get any better than this. Now that means we don't want Overwatch because I don't want to kill him by accident. Digging in. Yeah, we definitely don't want to kill him by accident. That would be rather awkward. He is moving. Alright, we should be in range now. I think we're in range. Yeah, we're in range. Alright, let's go. A bit of an awkward spot, but... 
Okay, let's go. Small Intel cache, that's fine. I have Didn't get it. Yeah, yeah, we'll work fast. There's the codex. We can probably one-shot it with the artillery cannon. Maybe. Uh, okay, it is in cover. But it, it's still got the damage and 60% crit. <laughs> this shot is so satisfying. Alright, good damage. Did you just miss? Yes, yes, you did just miss. Alright, well, that's a freebie right there. You are a bit far away. Impressed yet? Yes, impressed. Alright, let's finish this. Actually, somebody who can get experience should get that kill. Uh, you tried? Yeah, just run and gun. We need a lot of experience for Master Surgeons. Although that might not actually count for experience anymore. No, yeah, that doesn't actually count for experience. 22 critical damage. Not bad. Alright. That was a pretty good outcome, I would say. A few people are wounded, but we only lost two resistance members. They should be pretty easy to replace. Nobody got promoted, really. Alright. That's a bit disappointing. Plus three aim PCS. Ten alarium, ten alloys. All right. We'll begin work on it as soon as possible. Form of encryption. How long will Barney be wounded? Eighteen days. All right. Well, it could have been worse, I guess. Right. So now, uh, what are we doing now? I command your troops for their resilience in defeating this. Minus one uh, avatar project. New mission. Nine days. Uh, okay, Intel. I mostly care about uh, liberation right now. What's coming up right now? Liberation is coming up in New Brazil. Liberation free, this is. What's the squad here? Okay, they have a few magnetic weapons here. Magnetic cannon. How much Intel do I have right now? 242. It would be a pretty easy mission, potentially. How's the roster? The roster is fine. Uh, their icon should be available in just a moment. No, still tired. Doesn't say for how long, though. That's a bit odd. Okay. That's a bit odd. Okay, we still have 10 people left in here. I might want to assign a new advisor, though. I don't necessarily want to right now. Okay, maybe a heavy for now. Alright, but that's just temporary. Training, three days. Let's check what kind of group we can send here. So, hack workstation in Advent facility. I could send an agent. Okay, let's say we'll send an agent. Sharpshooter. Some of these lower rank people. Maybe. William Flippin. We have some rookies still. How about now? Yep, 127. Good, let's go with this then. That seems reasonable. 
was the squishiest here? Six, yeah, four. All right, yeah, sounds good. So we got two missions currently preparing. And we're about to finish clearing the power coil. So that's 15 Nellarium crystals. I'm going to need more supplies to start more research when Alarium research is done. What's going on in New Chile? Uh, supply. Eastern Europe. Okay, supply, supply, recruit, hiding. Yeah, vigilance here is at 8 and advanced strength at 6, which is why I went into hiding in Eastern Europe. Because that was a bit much. I will need more resistance contacts. Uh, pretty soon, hopefully. That might be the next facility. I think that will have to be the next facility. Because I could already make contact with more regions, but I can't because I'm maxed out on the contacts. So, yeah. I might actually scan a bit at the Templar HQ to heal faster. New what rank is the Templar right now? Where's the Templar? Right here. Oh yeah, the Templar is currently on covert action. Okay, yeah, seven days. Carry on then. Commander, yeah, yeah, we know Bradford. The There's the Larium. Going... So now... Well, I can't afford a facility right now. I would need 150 supplies. Which obviously I don't have at the moment. We can just start clearing this. When is the next supply drop coming, anyway? In 24 hours. Okay, that's good. I need the supplies. I really, really need supplies. Give me supplies. Alaric recovered. Alright, officer training is done. Oscar Mike. Yeah, she's only just starting officer training, which is fine. Get some. Oh, how about we train some uh, oh, uh, some uh, bonds? Yeah, improve soldier bond. That's only three days. Yep. This is a super important upgrade in Long Road of the Chosen because level one bond only gives you teamwork that just gives you an extra move. It doesn't give you a full action. It just gives you a move. But advanced teamwork at level two bond it actually gives you a proper action. Here, grants additional action point. So this is a huge upgrade. Priority Give me that supply drop, thank you. All right. I had your ship yes, we've done well. Moving target, you get additional defense and dodge against reaction fire, okay. Sentinel, okay. Training, training. Permanent, entwine. Plus two more damage to a bound target, plus 40 defense while binding, plus 10 aim for tongue grab. Okay, for snakes. Alien forces field tougher combat units with a bonus hit point, all right. I guess I'll spend five intel for this. Resistance informant. The aliens find the mole within the resistance, making pending retaliations much harder to detect. Okay. I'm not necessarily thrilled about bonus hit points on enemies, but it's gonna happen at some point. Avenger. There's the supply drop. Give me the supplies. We need to start a new facility. Combat engineer training. All right, that's Fox. And the juggernaut training. All right. There's the Viper upgrade. To yes, we know Bradford. Okay, we don't have any more rookies. We will. I should also get stay with me at some point, but it's not exactly cheap. But it will likely save me a death or two in the future once I pick it up. It's gonna happen. Uh, what are we doing here? Are we doing anything here? Uh, no, because I can't afford it. I could open a crate. So the next tier of crates requires what? Uh, eight scientists and eight engineers. I don't think we'll get that anytime soon, will we? Uh, maybe. Not super soon, though. 
not super soon. Okay, let's open one crate. Okay, let's open one crate for free, that's fine. I'll let you know as soon as the Give me my supplies. Yep, there's the bonus hit point. There we go, finally. Alright, time to build something. On the power coil. Resistance Let's get the resistance comes. Okay, I technically don't need that right now. Here you go. That's seven days. Supply raid. Eight days on the supply raid. Nice. Heck yeah. It's a troop transport. Heck yeah. Oh, we're doing that. And now I have 400 supplies to actually make gear. And with that said, do I have the roster for that right now? Kind of? Can we do a mission right now? Sort of. 12 hours. Until 100%. Because that would free up some of my gear. So I could wait 11 hours, do this, and then set up that supply rate. That's one option. This is liberation free. We got 8 days, 18 hours for this troop transport, so it's a lot of time in theory. Yeah, this pretty much only just started. I could also pay to Intel boost it and do it immediately. The reward for boosting this is 31 intel anyway. I don't have a lot of intel right now. Who's in here? And what do they have? Magnetic scimitar, a magnetic vector lance, Gremlin Mark II, magnetic rifle, magnetic sniper, two magnetic pistols, and magnetic cannon. I might just do this first. Alright, let's actually just do this first. Intel boosting it will boost it to 163. Alright, we'll do it first and then use the gear we free up to set up the supply rate. 